Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. I know it's been a while. Um, it seems like I've been working on this uh, journal forever. It's taken me quite a bit of time, but um, it's also been one of those uh, start and stop projects. Anyway, this is my latest journal and um, it is completely done in doilies. I wanted to do one uh, that is primarily um, done with doilies. I have so many doilies and I thought I would put them to good use. Now this journal is called A Penny for Your Thoughts and um, as you can see on the right, on the uh, front cover, um, there's a pretty lady deep in thought and uh, I love this picture so much so I put her on the cover and then I just embellished the pages. I won't go into great detail because as you can see they're all um, snippets of doilies. Now, a lot of times I've mentioned this before. Um, you don't need you don't need pieces of bling and all these fancy pieces to make something pretty. If you have a few doilies, you snip them up and you use those pieces in different ways. And that's what I've done with this one. Um, just by using um, various uh, pieces from various doilies, I was able to put this cover together. As you can see, from uh, little um, little uh, strip pieces to buttons, and uh, that's the cover. Now it's called Penny a Penny for Your Thoughts. So in this corner here, I've added a little uh, a little bag, and inside, if you open it up, it's got in here <laughs> a little penny so I put that in there now here in Canada we um, we don't have pennies anymore um, so they uh, we've kept a few just for uh, uh, for my son um, but uh, they're becoming more and more scarce you won't get pennies anymore here in Canada so uh, the cover or sorry the spine um, I've just done this uh, great big huge crocheted flower here and uh, with these little dangles and uh, we'll get to the first page but as you can see they're all little uh, pieces dangles from uh, from various doilies uh, the first page again you can see that it's uh, a pretty lady deep in thought and uh, using all these little uh, various uh, layers of doilies I uh, was able to embellish this picture and this is uh, actually probably the only piece I've used with a little bit of sparkle in it. It's, uh, it's uh, an applique with some sequins on it uh, just to make that a little bit more pretty. And you can see it's uh, layers of uh, doilies pieces on the bottom as well. The next page again another pretty lady. Uh, various pieces of uh, doilies, uh, flowers, uh, buttons, uh, all kinds of little things, and uh, again, a crocheted flower here, some dangles here, and that's that page. The next page, again, I like to keep the theme the same, so a pretty little lady, deep in thought, and uh, here I've used these little uh, snippets of uh, crocheted uh, pieces, added some pearls, dangled them from the picture, and you can see that it adds a lot of dimension, a lot of texture, and uh, it, I know it doesn't have a lot of color, uh, but this particular one, that's the way I wanted it. I wanted to keep it Victorian looking and old looking, and uh, that's that page. The center of the spine, I just took, took a piece of, um, of doily, put it down the, uh, the middle, added these uh, layers of different sizes of flowers, some pearls, and dangled off these little pieces at the bottom. As you can see, they're just little uh, uh, little um, rings uh, that, were, that came from a doily flower, actually. So that's that. And the next page, uh, again, um, a bow in the corner using uh, various uh, pieces. These ones I actually interlinked to, to um, uh, create this braided piece. Um, and I added this little pearl embellishment here and another little flower in the corner here and that's that page. This page here, I've added a little bit of uh, fringe. I always love fringe with a tassel and uh, again, uh, this came from um, a, a doily runner that I cut up 
And then again, uh, layering all these bits and pieces of flowers uh, uh, to give it dimension, added some uh, covered buttons, and uh, that's that page. The little dangly flowers as well. And finally, the pocket page. Um, I just did it quite simply, uh, adding this little uh, flower at the bottom. Again, the little dangly doily pieces. Nice little pocket to keep some uh, keepsakes in. And uh, that's it. The, there's the back. Now, even the back I've embellished with some flowers and pearls and strips and that sort of thing. So I really love this particular uh, doily that I had. Um, I cut it up and used that as a dangle. So um, there's my penny for your thoughts journal. I love the way it turned out. It's quite heavy, ladies. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I will start crafting a little bit more now that the winter is here. But I've just been so busy with my parents and work and um, we've just come back from a little holiday to the East Coast which was really really nice um, but uh, hopefully now that the cooler weather is here I have so many ideas and things I want to do I just hope I find the time so thank you so much ladies and uh, we'll see you again soon with another project bye for now